Choroidal osteoma is a benign slow-growing tumor made of bone that develops within the choroid. It is a choristoma where normal body cells grow at an abnormal location. Choroidal osteoma usually affect young females, is usually unilateral and located in juxtapapillary region. They present as yellow-white to orange-red mass lesions with well-defined borders. They are usually asymptomatic unless they are complicated by choroidal neovascular membrane, serous detachment, RPE atrophy or sudden foveal involvement. They may then cause floaters, metamorphopsia or field defects. Before summarizing the clinical features of choroidal osteoma, let's see some cases. 18 years female presented with complaints of pain and watering in left eye. Her best corrected visual acuity was 6 by 6. Fundus examination revealed orange-red mass lesion involving the macula and extending to the disc and beyond temporal arcades. On autofluorescence, the lesion was hyperautofluorescent suggestive either of decalcification or of increased metabolic activity in RPE. FFA revealed delayed patchy hyperfluorescence followed by persistent dye retention in the tumor. This is due to the bony composition of choroidal osteoma, fluorescein dye exhibits delayed penetration into the tissue. Once inside, it takes time to exit, leading to this characteristic finding in fluorescein angiography. OCT showed minimal abnormal convexity in the area of lesion. Also, a small neurosensory detachment can be seen at the nasal edge of the tumor. B-scan ultrasonography revealed a hyperechoic lesion at the level of choroid. This is associated with an echoic area or shadowing behind it. Usually the choroidal osteoma occurs in young females and is unilateral, but rarely it may be seen in males and could be bilateral. These fundus pictures are of a 20-year male who presented with orange-red mass lesion affecting the macula in both eyes. The patient was asymptomatic, had come for refraction and the osteoma was diagnosed on a routine fundus exam. His best corrected visual acuity was 6 by 6 in both eyes. Similarly in this 36 years female, bilateral asymmetrical choroidal osteoma was seen. In fact, in left eye the tumor was seen at two different sites. Her best corrected visual acuity was 6 by 60 in right eye and 6 by 6 in left eye. Autofluorescence showed a PE atrophy in both eyes. In right eye the atrophy was involving the fovea. Visual acuity in choroidal osteoma may be compromised if it is complicated by a PE atrophy, CNVM or serous detachment. OCT showed focal choroidal excavation and a PE atrophy, again these features are associated with poor visual prognosis. Choroidal osteoma can be complicated by the development of choroidal neovascular membrane. 35 years female presented with sudden decrease of vision in left eye for one week. On examination a yellow-white mass was seen in ferrotemporal to optic disc. There was a small subretinal hemorrhage involving the fovea. OCT revealed a mound-like hyperreflective lesion causing disruption of Brooks membrane. Choroidal loculation of fluid is seen at the junction of choroid with sclera. Inner retina is normal. Angio OCT shows a vascular shadow in the outer retina suggestive of CNVM. FFA showed a hyperfluorescent mass lesion with subretinal hemorrhage and CNVM. Patient received four intravitreal injections of ranibijumab. Six months later, the CNVM had regressed and the subretinal hemorrhage had reduced. The vision had improved to 6 by 12. It is important to keep the patients with choroidal osteoma under regular follow-up. 48 years male presented with sudden decrease of vision for two days. His best corrected visual acuity was 6 by 9. Fundus examination revealed a yellow-white mass in the macula suggestive of choroidal osteoma. FFA revealed a hyperfluorescent mass lesion in the macula with hypofluorescence at its edge. OCT shows thick and hyperreflective choroid with horizontal lamellar lines, white arrow. In the above picture, overlying a PE atrophy with ARPE rib is seen. The tumor tissue is seen protruding into photoreceptor layer. The osteoma showed a gradual increase in size with involvement of fovea and decrease in visual acuity over a period of two years. Two years later the patient developed CNVM and complained of sudden decrease of vision. 
He underwent photodynamic therapy followed by three injections of ranibijumab. Post-treatment the CNVM had regressed and the osteoma is stable for the past six years. To summarize, choroidal osteoma presents as a orange-red or yellow-white mass lesion with well-defined borders. It may be complicated by choroidal neovascularization, RPE atrophy or serous detachment. Fundus autofluorescence ranges from hypoautofluorescent to hyperautofluorescent depending upon the RPE activity. Autofluorescence helps in monitoring the disease progression. FFA shows hyperfluorescent mass lesion which may sometimes be associated with CNVM. OCT shows variable features ranging from abnormal retinal contour, thickened and hyperreflective choroid with horizontal lamella lines, RPE abnormalities, photoreceptor atrophy and neurosensory detachments. B-scan is diagnostic and shows hyperechoic linear mass at the level of choroid associated with shadowing posterior to it. Treatment is required if the osteoma is associated with CNVM. The CNVM secondary to choroidal osteoma usually responds favorably to treatment.